Oh, it's so sloshy. <laughs> I have got my six caterpillars in the bag. I'm struggling to find the brown one in this area. Like, oh my god, I found it. I found it. Sick bird rodent. Nothing. I don't know. I'm kind of losing track of time these days. Hi guys, it's about um, three days later and I'm going to go collect my caterpillars back. It's like, it's really cold today and it's kind of like raining so um, I just want to collect it as soon as possible. I'm really scared they're going to be like in a puddle on the ground because the other day I was walking to my bike and I was a bit early like to leave so I just kind of wanted to go check out my caterpillars and I saw two of the striped ones on the ground and all of the brown ones still stuck which kind of goes against the hypothesis i mean that's not really the point it's okay like whatever happens but like i just hope i still find all of them there so let's go see that's the tree oh it's so sloshy <laughs> okay where are my caterpillars okay so <laughs> i see one so one is still on the tree lol <laughs> oh there's my brown one where are they? i swear like i saw some on the ground oh no let me first collect the ones that i can see so there's one of the striped one left and there's one of the brown one left but i am not able to see anything else the oh i see it there okay it's like peeking out there okay i'll show you okay so i've gotten most of my caterpillars here like the three striped ones and two brown ones but <laughs> I'm struggling to find the brown one in this area. Like it's perfectly camouflaging. I have no idea where it's, it's like playing like I spy or like where is Wally? <laughs> Do you see it anywhere? I mean, another possibility is like like some animal or like a predator just ran off with it and like I don't know, like dropped it like somewhere nearby. But I have no idea how to search this brown for like a brown <laughs> oh my god i found it i found it literally there like hiding like beneath there is my last caterpillar there we go. voila it's a bit sad i see like no bite marks i don't know if these scratch marks are like from any predator do you guys see that the scratch marks i have got my six caterpillars in the bag and let's go up to my room and do some inspection <laughs> So one other thing I need to know for writing my report is like which which tree this is and I didn't really know it that day but then I remembered this app that a family friend told me about which basically you can take a picture of like the leaf of the tree and tells you what tree it is. So I'm gonna try doing that and see if it works to identify what tree this is. Yeah! Yeah it works! So this is a black mulberry tree apparently. I don't see any berries. Oh that's something weird. Um, I don't see any uh, berries yet but Okay, cool. I just needed the name of the tree, so yay! Honestly, it's like a bit anticlimactic. Like, I don't really have any <laughs> bites. Insect, bird, rodent, nothing. But it's okay. That's just the nature of experiments. Anyway, so there's like this spec sheet here that we all have to just upload our data. So the researchers will kind of process this data and give us data to work with. Our professor was just like, we can keep this magnifying glass and like um, these extra bits of clay as like a gift from the EMB department. And honestly, I'm not complaining. So I'm gonna try and figure out what to do with this clay because I might just make like a model of something and just keep it on my desk or something. So yeah, that's the end of this practical. I am still yet to write my report. Basically this is an assessed practical. So we have to write a report on this and then send it in um and this kind of makes like a small component of our final grade so i'm still yet to write the report but that would be like next week so we have a call with the demonstrator like next week kind of just um like a debrief of the experiment how it went or like how we're supposed to write the report and all of that so yeah the data collection and the experimental procedure is done and now it's just the analysis of results and writing the final report so hi guys it's now more than i think a week since i did the field experiment i don't know i'm kind of losing track of time these days but it's sunday the 8th basically and it's about 8, 5 30 p.m it's completely pitch dark outside i was supposed to go to the library today i booked a session to go and write up the practical and refer to some textbooks and all of that but then i kind of had a long morning i had filmed something for my school that the admissions team requested and then i came back 
to my dorm and then had lunch and I just crashed onto the bed for like an hour, hour and a half. I don't know. I basically just missed my library session. I just wanted to rest for a while because um, I was having some bad cramps. But I woke up and I just finished watching the video for how to write the practical. And hopefully in the next one hour, I can get through at least half of it. It's due day after tomorrow and I feel like I started a bit late. It's not been the most productive day either. So whatever, it's okay. It's just, you know, it's fine. Things don't go according to plan all the time. I'm just gonna do my best and do as much as I can by tonight and then have a warm shower and a warm dinner and then just sleep so yeah in the next one hour I hope I can do some things but it sounds interesting it actually sounds a lot like um, my IB bi biology internal assessment the structure of this practical seems like a lot of what I did for the IB so hopefully um, I have an okay time getting through this this application is such a lifesaver it's called Zotero there it is yeah it's called Zotero and it's so useful for references and bibliography this is such a cool um app really useful for writing a report it's literally 5 31 pm and this is how dark it is that's my neighbor at the door <laughs> that satisfaction when you can finally close all the tabs that you've been using to work <laughs> finally it's like 12 30 am now i actually finished writing this about like an hour ago um, I just did the final check right now and I submitted it into the portal. So, yay! <laughs> so, that was my evolution and behavior practical. The first ever practical write up that I've written, submitted for grading. I'm like an experimental um, journal style write up. So, it was quite a fun practical, I must say. Though the results we got were not really supporting our hypothesis, it just gave us more like for analysis for like our report. So it was quite interesting. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, accompanying me along on my journey of one kind of Cambridge assignment. Thank you for joining me and see you very soon. I am all ready for bed. My bed is waiting for me right there. So I'm gonna go sleep now. Bye, good night. Let's make our caterpillars. Oh, that's a huge one. Take the past by think of. I'm so weird. <laughs> like, what the hell is this girl doing under this tree?